Now summer is literally just around the corner and it can be quite daunting, can't it, bearing more flesh? Also the change in temperature can cause absolute havoc with both your hair and skin. Well luckily for you I'm joined by the delightful Sarah Davis today to give us all her hints and tips and also talk us through the latest products that are out there to really help us battle the different elements and the different demands summertime can bring. Thank you for joining us this morning Sarah. Good morning. Now like I said when it is summertime we do tend to lose the layers and we do tend to bear a bit more flesh and we've been hiding away under our uh, coats and our big baggy jumpers for quite some time now and now it's time to really see the damage and see what really we've been hiding it so it can be quite scary and there's a whole host of products out there to really help you and give you a bit more um, a, you know a bit more confidence really mm -hmm. now actually if we're going to have a look at a, a VT that we did earlier in the week Talk us through that, Sarah. Okay, I'm here um, performing a facial treatment. Um, this is very important, as I say, when the weather gets a lot warmer. We need to cleanse our skin um, a bit more often. It's very important. Um, I'm just using our Primavera organic products here. So I'm cleansing the skin. I will exfoliate the skin. So again, cleansing on a daily basis. Exfoliating, say, once, twice a week is very important to remove any dead skin cells. I have just applied um, a deep clay mask to the skin. This can be done a weekly or a fortnightly treat. Um, and if you are gonna have a professional treatment, um, once a month is sufficient. Um, and again, this helps to kind of unblock any you know, congest congestion from the skin, any um, block pores. I'm just removing the mask with a night heated cloth here. This is just taking away the product while the lady relaxes. A facial roughly will cost from about 30 to 60 pounds um, and this is a lovely treat. I'm just going to tone over the skin. This is very important, again, especially more in summertime, to spritz and tone the skin to take away any kind of perspiration or any impurities. I'm applying some eye cream. We mustn't forget this area. This is a very delicate area on the face. So this will help protect, um, fight against any fine lines or any kind of deep lines or maybe some puffiness from tiredness. I'm just finishing off the facial with a moisturiser. This is very important to protect the top layer of the skin. A lot of moisturisers now do have an SPF, so again, this is very important for summertime because you do need to protect your skin from the UV and the UV, UV rays. And then we're just finishing off the facial. Fantastic. So some of us can really have had the luxury of having a treatment done, and I know you do them yourself. I do. But also some of us can't afford it or just simply don't have the time. But what different, you know, what changes are there to the skin, particularly on the face during the summertime, that perhaps we don't encounter during the winter months? Of course, obviously we have to consider the heat, we have to consider the sun, the UV rays. Obviously we need to protect the skin. In summertime, obviously we, sunburn is... Yeah. Uh, you know you have to prevent that obviously from sun damage you get premature aging so you need to protect your skin with all those different things and can um, your skin type change because i know some people they might have sort of oily skin during the winter months because yes. of air conditioning things like mm -hmm. that then suddenly they're finding dry patches or vice versa yeah vice versa or the other way around so you do have to maybe look at the products that you're using on um, a base you know a yearly basis it's quite a good idea to change your products every six months so again maybe this time of year looking to change your products to come into the summertime. So a bit of a spring clean yeah, there for definitely. your cosmetics as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So starting with the body, as I say, you might have to sort of show more if you're in a bikini or not even that, even if you're just wearing your, you know, your short sleeve tops, yes. things like that. It can be quite daunting, can't it? So there's some fantastic products available to really get your, your skin in, in the best condition. Yeah, I would say Walida here, they do this fantastic body scrub. This is the first step to summer, I think. So when you're in the shower, it's so easy to use. You just use it all over the body, concentrating on the thigh area obviously uh, the cellulite area and also the backs of the arms we get a lot of dry skin some people can get um, some you know quite build up of dry skin mm. there so brilliant for that so how often should you use a body scrub you can use it every day right okay um, so every or, time you shower every yeah, time you wash if, to, to begin with um, or every other day you, you just kind of go with what your skin type is telling you okay. if it's dry then you know exfoliate more now what about the dreaded c word the cellulite, cellulite that you can get sometimes on your thighs or bottom or 
stomach or even you mentioned before on the tops on the of your tops arms. Of the arms. I didn't know you could get cellulite there. Yes, you can. This is brilliant. This is our birch cellulite oil. It smells absolutely fantastic. You've got to smell this oil. Oh, that's that's really invigorating, Beautiful. isn't it? Yeah, it's got so lime in there, lemon, very citrusy oils. You'll find with a lot of cellulite products. Right. Very invigorating. See, you don't need to use a lot of products. Very mm -hmm. small. I know. I think I've used a little bit too much. Yeah. See, so you can use it quite sparingly. Yes, very and sparingly. And then obviously it lasts you a long, long time. Long won't time. It? Yeah. That's Combined gorgeous. with the exfoliator, use it together. Exfoliate in the shower. Even use a body brush, and then apply your oil afterwards on a, a damp to dry skin. It can be damp. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, we want to massage the skin. You know, give it a bit of pummeling yourself. Yeah. We want to really, really work that area. We want to stimulate it. Get the circulation going. Fantastic. Now, yourself and myself always want to get a tan, but most people do. do. But if you've got slightly darker skin, you might actually be avoiding that altogether because yes. some people don't want their skin to get any darker than it is. That's true. And the standard sun creams just don't seem to work. No. Usuri here I've bought out this fantastic gel. It's non-colour gel, so it's transparent, so you haven't got that white um, you know, residue on the skin like yeah. a lot of sun creams do. And if you have a darker skin type, you know, you don't want to have that. Mm. So this gel's fantastic. It's SPF 40. You use it in the sun, just all over the skin, and it will prevent you tanning. Fantastic. And like you say, you don't get that, char no. that sort of chalky look that's on no, you can no, the skin. No, no, it's transparent. Now, moving on to the face, and that, again, is something that we want sun protection as of much course. as possible, particularly to avoid wrinkles. Yes. But sometimes, of course, it can get, form quite a barrier on the skin that can be quite tacky and, and sort of make you feel quite sticky but there's some products available to do the complete opposite. Of there that, is. There? Yeah, Bare Minerals have bought out this fantastic powder with an SPF 30 which you can use face and body and it has a brush applicator so you just, I'll just show you here, you mm -hmm. just take off the lid, you just twist the bottom mm -hmm. and then you have the powder in here. Just by turning it over the powder will come out. So again rather than having a greasy feel on this, you know on your face, mm. I'm, I'm not a, not a fan. This has a, you know. So all skin types can benefit from that. Yes. Oily skin particularly. Yes. Because um, it's going to mop up the grease, isn't it? And it's going to mattify your skin as well. Fantastic. Yeah. So you use that in conjunction with your current, um, mm. you know, foundations and things. Yeah, you? yeah. You can use it or just on its own because it has a strong factor on there as right. well. So if you didn't want to put too much on your face, you can just use that. Okay. And finally, on to Levera. Yeah. Now they've actually got a fantastic skin block itself, haven't they? They the have. Face? Yes. They have a whole body range, and this one in particular is just for the face, and it's and anti-aging as well, so you're protecting against premature aging. It's our organic product, um, yeah, and again, you don't get that white film. So really fresh, really light, but yes. giving you just as much protection. Just as much protection. Well, thank you so much, Sarah. That's been very okay. insightful and very informative, some great hints and tips, so thank you once again.